I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of the problems in docking, in this case, an anaconda. Uh, when you've flown around a lot, you will have had some near misses with anacondas and especially type 9s, because quite frankly, we are massive. Uh, the type 9 in particular. We're also extremely bad at braking and we're bad at maneuvering. The Anaconda is better at it than the Type 9 but uh, compared to anything else, even the Type 6, these are horrible. Uh, you really can't describe how bad these ships maneuver. You really need to, uh, to, to try to get a sense of it. Um, this causes a few problems when we're trying to dock because we're trying to thread a relatively large ship through a relatively small entrance. Uh, with the Anaconda, the problem is we can't see anything below the ship. We're not in the middle, we are somewhere near the back and we're on top of things. So we can't see... we have a massive blind spot. Even if we move our perspective, uh, yeah, we can see to the sides, but we still can't see anything down here. We need to rely on radar, and we need to rely on the fact that uh, we are massive. The only thing that is going to cause a dent in us is someone boosting out of the station, which is pretty dumb to begin with, because you're going to end up hitting either an Anaconda with full shields or a Type 9 with full shields, and it'll hurt, but you're going to die and we're going to repair the damages to our ship. Um, otherwise, uh, the problems you're going to face is that you risk ending up like a bug on a windshield because we are massive. Here's an example. This is a... I'd say this is a relatively slow docking speed but I'm in the blue right now. Uh, if I spot something that's gonna hit me let's say I spot it now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven seconds to come to a stop. That's from 70 meters per second. This ship is easily 70 meters long. It takes me that long to slow down, and this isn't even the worst one. The Type 9 is even worse. Also, when we're trying to, uh, to, to line ourselves up, we're using the, uh, the lateral and vertical thrusters, because it's a lot easier than trying to thread this needle here. It's simply, it, it can turn around a bit, but it's not nearly good enough for it. So we're going to be spending some time trying to thread the needle, and that makes it difficult to keep track of everything around us at the same time. Basically, we are super tankers in a harbor. Yeah, you might technically have the right of way, but you really don't want to get in the way because uh, you're gonna get squished. So the Anaconda is, is probably, if I had to guess, about half the width of the entrance. But you really still are going to end up aiming for the center because, well, that's what you can. That's the best place to to, to go for it. But let's let's give this a try. Uh, that's the bottom, and let's try to find the right hand side of this. I can't go any further right, I can't go any further uh, downwards. 
this is what I have to work with when I'm in an anaconda, uh, space-wise, which is pretty much nothing. So yeah, we are going to be hogging the airlock because that's how we get through it. If I had to guess, the uh, the anaconda uh, is probably well half the width, maybe three quarters the width, and probably half to three quarters the height as well. So it's going to be somewhere between 25 and 75 percent of the entire entrance area is what the anaconda requires, and you want space on either side. Uh, to make sure you're not going to crash into it and you want to get through it at a reasonable pace you don't want to be s uh, moving through it at snail's pace just to make sure that you're not going to scrape something you're in a smaller ship you have by far the better chance of avoiding me than I do of you because quite a lot of the time I simply cannot see you even if I can see you, I might not be able to get out of the way. And that's just in the Anaconda. The, the Type 9 is even worse because once you start committing, you're screwed if you have to, uh, to, to change anything because it takes easily 15 seconds to slow down from, uh, from top speed, but I'll show that in a different video.